everyone welcome to real learner so in the video series about spring cloud config server we are uh, looking into config server centralized configuration management and if you remember the previous videos and if you have not watched those videos this video is prerequisite uh, all those are prerequisite for this video right so let me show you that what we have covered so far so if you come here on github page we have covered config server and i have given the link here also what is config server what is spring cloud config server and config server demo and config server in microservices right so all this we have covered right so the playlist you can also see config server and spring cloud config server so we have created our cloud config server and it's time we use that cloud config server in our microservices right so for that purpose this video is going to help you right so let me explain you what we have covered so if you remember this diagram from the previous video so we have uh, created this this part right so this is the entire architecture this is the spring cloud config server which is talking to github uh, to take the configuration right and this configuration this spring cloud config servers is going to be used by microservices this service one this service two this service three and so on right so in this video we are going to focus on this part right for and after doing this subsequently you can you uh, you can configure any microservices to talk to spring cloud config server right so let's go ahead and see how we can do this this part service one talking to spring cloud config server we will be uh, calling our service spring cloud config client right because it is the client of our server right so let's go ahead and create the project so as usual we will be going to start dot spring dot io right and then uh, create the configuration that you want we are going to create the gradle project and the spring boot version that you want to use and here you can mention the group and artifact right so i can mention the config line any name you can give this is the your name of the your microservice right and here you need to give the uh, the dependencies that you want here in your application right so spring web and basically mainly we want config client right and one more we want the spring boot actuator so these three things we want in our application if i go here explore it and see the details of the dependency so we will get this right so these are all the dependencies that we get so this is the main one these three dependencies started test is coming automatically for testing your microservice right so this is all you can you go ahead and generate this so i already have generated and imported it our in our intellij ide right so let me go ahead and show you that so this is a spring cloud spring config client application this is the main application which is starting our application let me show you the build.gradle so build.gradle has starter babe starter config and starter actuator and this is the same uh, you will get all this dependency when you uh, open your project from this generate this uh, when you click on generate it will download the project for you go ahead and open this in intellij id right and rest of the things follow the follow what i am telling you right so this is the spring cloud application and we have to create our main controller uh, where we will be creating a sample endpoint and we will be getting the data that we want right so this is the main controller right uh, we are giving it the name info and this is the kind of channel info this information we are getting this is the object that i have created and this has source name and url three informations right which we, are, we, will, we will be displaying right so from where we are giving this source config and all these information so this is expecting the property name channel source right add value annotation is there to get the value of this channel source and if it is not found by default no channel will be printed right other properties coming from config props and config props is auto wired and this is uh, being in initialize from here we have mentioned it as uh, we have configured it as configuration and configuration property so this is the at value and at configuration properties are two ways from uh, which we can get the values of the configuration uh, that we are giving in our application properties application.yml or somewhere else right 
so this is the name this is the url right so name and url we will be getting channel dot name channel dot url whatever is it will be uh, will get populated in this object config props that we have given here right so let me show you the details of these properties first right so if i go here and this config props spring cloud config props right so this is the application property and application prod properties right let me open this so we are expecting that channel dot source here under source this channel source key will be replaced by key this is the key and this is the value so under source we will get the name youtube and channel name this will be populated from here right because channel dot name channel dot url we will get that right so this is the prefix for that configuration properties right so we will get name green learner and url as this so in main controller main controller we will get source config props and config props url right everything going fine we will be able to get the channel info right from here right so next where config server is coming into picture so the moment you are mentioning this dependency spring starter cloud config and you are starting your application it will try to connect to a config server so by default the address of that config server is uh, by default that config address is http local host is the host name and for 888 four times eight is the port right so if you want to override that url you can mention that in your bootstrap yaml so bootstrap yaml is the new thing that i'm telling you earlier we were giving the configuration in application yaml right so bootstrap is bootstrap the configuration are uh, taken at the time of boot, uh, bootstrap phase right so which is at the time of starting even before your application is started right so bootstrap phase uh, the properties uh, gets loaded into the system that is why we are giving here in bootstrap so if you're not giving it in the bootstrap and you are giving it in application yaml so there will be some problem right so you uh, keep it in mind when you are using config line try to make a bootstrap yaml and give configurations there right the basic configuration about cloud config so here we have mentioned 8090 and even if we have we are not mentioning this it will try to connect to the default one right so let me show you that also just for clarity right so if i go ahead and start this application and see the console that is there right so it will try to connect to the default one that i have told you right so so it is fetching config server details from localhost 88 right so it is trying to connect but it is not available obviously it is not available because our config server is running on different port right so it is started but it will create problem uh, it will not be able to get the information right because our config uh, server config server details are incorrect right so let me revert that to what we have right and stop the server so our config server is running at port 8090 or already right so if you want to create the config server application the previous video uh, that i have uh, shown you in the playlist is the prerequisite for this you can uh, go uh, through that to get the information about config server and how the configuration from the github properties file gets loaded into the config server right so we have this 8090 and just uh, that's it we are done here for basic things so by default so for now what we have in this config props so the default properties so you have profile specific default properties and all those stuffs so if i go ahead and start this application 8090 so we are expecting that default properties that is application or properties gets loaded into the system right so go ahead and start this application So in the startup you are seeing the startup logs right so it is now fetching the config server information from the 8090 right so it got the 
that server running so that is why it is located environment so if you remember the earlier where it was not able to locate the server it was uh, showing you warning error right so profiles what profile it is loading default version all those information it is locating right name config server property map property and all these stuff right server started on 8081 port right so this server is running so i can go ahead and hit this endpoint which one if i go to this main controller and we have this info right so go ahead and hit this up hit this endpoint to get the detail local host 8081 and info right so if i hit this i should be able to get this information right so we have this is showing you the json format right so we have one plugin that is why it is showing you in the nice format if i nice format right so you can install this also so source this is the same property that you have here right uh, where it is config props and application dot properties youtube green learner and this one so default property is being fetched from server to your application your client right so whatever services so you can configure so this service one is now talking this service one this one is now talking to this config server so in the same way you can configure many services service 2 service 3 service 4 to talk to config server and get the information from there right so now the next requirement is you your application wants to load the profile specific properties right so profile uh, you in your application you have different profiles right you are in uh, sometimes you are in test phase you are in production phase so you want the configuration specific to that right so we have uh, seen the default configuration and profile specific configurations and next is the updating configuration at runtime these two things we are going to see in the next video right so you play around with this and create a config client connected to the config server right next video i'm going to show you the next requirements that is profile specific and updating configuration at runtime so i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye